A homeowner's in jail tonight after he called police because people were breaking into his home. That's because of what officers found after he shot at the would-be burglars. News on 6's Amy Kaufman is live on the story with all the details tonight. Amy. Well, Terry and Craig, Tulsa police are still looking for multiple suspects after they attempted to break into Robert Doxey's home earlier today. But while investigating, officers realized that the gun Doxey used was stolen, and they say it could be connected to several other crimes across green country. It's no longer safe for the kids to be out and play anymore. Jan Wyman says she's lived in this neighborhood near Latimer and Yale for 13 years. She says it used to be quiet, but a lot has changed. I mean, you hear gunshots going off. You see people running up and down uh, the street, like running from the laws. Wyman says people have even broken into her own home before, and it's not rare to see officers on her street. And it can happen during the day, it can happen at night. People just don't care anymore. Earlier today, Tulsa police responded to a home just a few doors down where the homeowner shot at people. He says we're trying to break in. There was no signs of him hitting anyone, no blood trail or anything like that. Captain Williams says they ran a few of the shell casings from the gun and it came back stolen from Muskogee. At that point, uh, we went from him being a burglary victim to the possession of stolen property suspect. Robert Doxey was arrested at the scene and booked into the Tulsa County Jail. Officers say they are still looking for the people who tried to break in, but at this time they don't have a suspect description. So they're just telling neighbors like Wyman to be alert. It sure changed a lot that you can't sit out in your front front anymore and worry about whether you're going to be shot at or somebody's going to be flying bullets or, you know, it's just not safe. Now, officers are checking the shell casings to see if the recovery of this stolen firearm could clear up any other unsolved crimes. So we'll continue to follow this story as it develops. Live on the scene, on the story from the Tulsa Police Department, Amy Kaufman, News on 6.